Ben. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. Happy Saturday. Yeah, sizzle. Hi, boys and girls. Sizzle. Happy Saturday. It was a nice day, but once the chaos. I didn't bring my camera. Stop. But no Chaos. I thought maybe I left the Christmas tree later, and we don't do that. Uh, okay, let's okay, see. Let's go then. Okay. I want to thank everybody. Yeah, today was nice and warm, except when the so sun went in, then it was cold. Um, I took the teenies out for their first time outside. Um, I'll start their puppy march sometime this week. Um, Probably not tomorrow because there'll be way too many people. So I'll do it tomorrow, but on Sundays and it'll be nice out. There'll be way too many people. It'll be crazy. Um, so I like Saturdays to do it because there's not a lot of people involved because then it's just too crazy. Um, but they did great. I think they're going to be a great group. Um, because the hardest part for them is that first step out of the house. They're like, ooh. Um, but they did really well. And then Tito, Smokey. And I think Marnie were struggled going down the stairs a little bit, but I just like them to figure it on their own. Um, I think Debbie took a video. I helped one of them, and then I let the rest of them figure it out. Because once they see everyone else do it, they are, they can do it. Um, but I think they're gonna be a really good group. They did really. That was their first time, and they don't even know me that well. Um, they did great. Um, let's see what else. Um, Nova and I worked on our friendship today. She does not like me because um, I was the first one to put her in the scary car and put her on a leash and in a vest. Um, so she's more on the timid side um, and she's not a fan of me. So we went to Leahy and worked on her downstairs and just kind of sat there trying to be friends. Um, she's not a big fan of me because she had a great pace for a while and I took her out the other day. And I'm like, why is she pulling? Like, she doesn't pull. And then someone else took her out, and they were like, she didn't pull with me. And I'm like, oh, she's just trying to get away from me. Um, but we'll work on that. Um, and then Eduardo, we went to Market Basket. Um, he's been a little anxious, so that was good for him to see all the kind, all kinds of people. Um, let's see. Who has the happy tail in the barn? Winnie has happy tail. Um, we've been taking care of it and cleaning it and wrapping it, but it's just... Maybe we can do something about it when she gets spayed at the end of the month. Um, but yeah, Winnie has it, and Jagger has it, but his isn't that bad. We wrap them. Shana, I'll hold the dog, and Shana wraps them, and we use the um, the medicated honey that Megan had used for Walter. Um, and that, like, works like magic. When Willie had the cut on him, that healed it up. It was crazy how fast it healed. But that stuff works really well. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to start working with the teenies. I learned them all today, too, while we were outside. Um, but I think they're going to be a good group. But we know what they'll be in the barn. Um, yesterday I separated all the ten puppies. They're all down there now um, in groups of two, which is good because they were starting to beat each other up. Um, so they're in kennels four, five, six, seven, and ten. Two, two, and two, and two. Um, Sage is here until the 31st. Um, Antonia was here last night. Gabby's still here. She has, she has, she's not that upset because she gets to sleep on the couches all night and, and during the day. And she's not locked into kennel, so she's happy. She has lots of friends. So really likes her. She was with Leroy yesterday. Um, who has happy, uh, Hoodsy's potty training. Hoodsy's doing well with the potty training. Yeah, I think he's doing well. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was him. Someone had said they had seen him do it um but i think he's been better it's been less pee in there um but now they're all in their own kennel so we have to keep an eye on see if anyone's peeing and pooping because last night gelato and oreo were in 10 but nova or mocha pooped inside last night so now they're in 10 so they don't do that and then we'll see because we don't want them to start pooping and peeing everywhere was Rapid Spay? Yes, it was. Um, I just checked her today. I ju actually just checked her. Um, I should write myself a note. Um, she's not bleeding anymore, so I think she's all done. I checked her with a towel, so we can schedule it three months from now. Um, and then it'll just be her, and Winnie's is scheduled for the 27th, so I'll leave Linda a note that we need to schedule rabbits. And May's still a little bloody. Are the pups paired male, female? 
I should have done that, but I was doing the, I'll, maybe I'll change it to that. I was doing it by litter, um, and then the only one that ran out was Mocha and Nova. Um, but they're still friends for now, but I forgot that there's a perfectly even amount. Wow, I didn't even think of that. But yeah, they're by litter except for Mocha and Nova. Um, and then hopefully we'll have uh, more space soon so they can be in single kennels. That'd be nice. Um, what else? What else? Penny will be happy to have May May back. But Penny and Honey, we found out today, they're good friends. They had fun in the arena. I don't know if you guys saw them. Um, but Honey gets along with anyone. Penny tries to be, like, dominant. Um, but Honey's just like, meh, I'm happy. I'm having fun. Sending prayers out to Annie. Yeah, I haven't heard any more news on her. But I hope she's doing well. That's very scary. Um, and Eduardo's down in the barn. Now I brought Eeyore up here. And Rue and Lacey are up here now, too, for the puppies to be in the barn. How's Winnie's tail? Um, the same. I mean, some days it's good, and then other days you walk in there and you get blood on your face <laughs> from it opening. Um, but we've done a good job of keeping it wrapped and clean. Um, but that's why she's in kennel nine, so she has plenty of space, so she's not hitting on as much. It was good for a while, but then it's a little spot that breaks open. Um, but it's not that. It's not that bad. It's just a pain. And with her being this young, it's not like she's leaving anytime soon. Um, like Jagger's, he's older, so it's fine, but inch, so yeah. But we'll figure it out. Any other questions? Um, Nora was really good this week. I forget where we were. She did really well, though. Everyone did really well this week. There was no one that was terrible. Um, let's see what else. Now I'm forgetting. Um, Piglet did really well. I had him in a cafe yesterday. I was like, oh, we'll just go for it. Um, he surprised me. He did really, really well. Um, Eeyore did really well. Everyone's doing really well. Um, Eeyore was great at Lowe's yesterday. Very focused. Normally he's just do to do, but he was very focused. Um, Kangas, now that she's recovered from her spay, we'll get back to her. Um, it's like the first 10 minutes, she's just an idiot. And then she's like, oh, I got this. I'm not that terrible. But she's just excited. Um, Max still has another week of not playing, which he's really struggling with. Um, it's been a week, so he can go out on his own, walk around a little bit. Um, but we'll get back to him when he's all healed up. Um, what else? What else? Any other questions? I can't think of everything I was going to say. But everyone, yeah, everyone had a good week. Everyone did really well this week. It's a good week. It felt like a long week. I don't know why, but how was Willie? Willie's good. Willie's just Willie. <laughs> Big doofus. Um, he's good. Yeah. Him, him, Honey, June, and Nora are all in Ice House together, so now the four of them are best friends. June can be a little, um, tries to be a little bitchy to Nora, but once you're like, June, she's like, oh, okay, just get in. Um, they do well together. And June gets along with Honey, and June's good with all the younger girls. Um, all the dogs did great, too, when I had the puppies outside. Normally, they bark, bark, bark like crazy, um, but they did really well. They were very nice to all of them. Bumble was very unsure of them. He was like, why is there so many? Um... But they did well. You try to avoid the heavier moving blankets and some of the dogs. Uh, it depends on the dogs, what we have. Like in 10, where they get to an age where we can't give them fluffy toys or anything um, rippable. But if the moving blankets don't have any any rips or anything on them, um, it's fine. But anything that's not that the dogs will eat fluffy-wise, we use in Walter's kennel because he's not going to um, eat them. Or when they're a lot, really little, because um, then they won't chew. But the comets and cones are reaching their chewy stage, ripping stuff up. Um, so no more fluffy stuff for them. Anything else? I think Carly needs napping. She was tired. We, they put a fence around the pond today so we can use it during the winter so the dogs won't go on the ice. But she said she was tired from tying all the knots in the fence. Mm -hmm. 
Well, mine are right here from yesterday. I'll stick them in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, Oscar did that too. That's funny. I didn't know that. Yeah, he has been pretty good with it. Um, Rabbit's not bleeding anymore. I checked her. I'll check her again in the morning. May may still is a little bit. Yeah. But that'll be good. Really good schedule. What? Oh, I left myself a note. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't write a note yet. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's a scary incident in Ted. One yeah, Grace told me that last night or this morning. One of them was stuck. That is scary. But he was fine. Um, today he was fine. He's probably just very scared. Very scared. Um, yeah, we have a few coming up in the beginning of the year. A few matches coming up in the beginning of the year. Um. Yeah, there'll be a few. Quite a few. We'll see, though. Um, anything else? Uh-oh. I don't know if <laughs> you guys, we realized the camera was on us this morning. There was a mouse in the food bin. Um, the, but then we noticed the camera was turned in there when Liv ran and screamed and jumped on the... Um, bench in the middle. <laughs> I was like, I bet they're all wondering what's going on. Um, the dogs didn't like the screaming either, but it was scary. She was trying to get him out and he went to like run up her arm, but we got him out. I don't know where he went, but he's out of there now. <laughs> um, yeah, that's scary. Yeah, so Carlene said don't hesitate to call us. Yeah, definitely. That's very scary. I would call. I'm glad it was in that kennel too so you guys could see it and it wasn't in a kennel where you couldn't see because that's scary is honey ready to be matched um no she's really good but she's still they're not even a year yet um there'll be a year in march i think um she's really good though um yesterday i forgot i had taken the vest out of the car to clean the car and i forgot a vest with her um we went in the mall and she was great she was she was a little distracted, like, Dad, we forgot something. Um, but she did really well. All right, any other questions before? I'll shut off the mic because Carlene's not out here. Um, I'll find out where she is. But anything else? Oh, oh, oh no, yeah. Anything else? No? All right. Have a good night. again. You messed up my desk. I didn't do it. <laughs> Not I. Who did this? Somebody's calling. Somebody got that or I got to answer it. You have to. Service dog project. Oh dear. Somebody. Yeah. You called again at mail call. I have to do mail call. Okay. Bye. Bye. I have to do a mail call. Yeah, she has, she's a high functioning something, right? Which one you are you talking about? I, we have two now. Okay. We have two. That one, who I, that, remember, I don't always, don't always recognize. And the other one that we have, mine, mine has to get blocked. Okay. On we go. Mary Lou Sargent from Endwell, New York. All's well that ends well. Here you go. Have that one. Thank you. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. We love you. This is Mary, uh, Mary Lou and Fiona. Oh, they do certainly do love us. Oh, nice. Awesome. Mary Lou Very new. Fiona. Thank you very much, Mary Lou. She, that dog's done very well with her, too. That's you Elvis. 
and we have Michelle Fairhaven Bass. Oh, that's weird looking. Alligator style or something. Happy holidays, Carly and everyone at Service Dog Project. Check us for three chicken bricks. And she gives us the numbers that she would like if she, sometimes you have to be early in the game to get that, but that's okay. We try. Where does Santa stay when he goes on vacation? At a ho-ho hotel. Oh, oh. gosh. <laughs> I hadn't heard that one before. No, I hadn't either. Okay. So those are the chicken bricks that go in there. Okay. And we have Jan Girl. Mailed on the 26th. That's yours. And that one goes in there. 40 is the only number in the English letters where, oh my God, where the uh, letters appear in alphabetical order. Let me try it again. 40 is the only number in, the, in English yeah. where the letters appear in alphabetical order. Some people just don't have enough time on their hands. <laughs> no? Never do anything. Are they still, are the kids still here? No. no. Oh. That Sue sounded like a kid in the kitchen. Right. Never do anything you wouldn't want to explain to the paramedic. Never what? Never do anything you wouldn't want to explain to a paramedic. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Goldie. Mm -mm. I don't know about that. Those who don't know how to weep with their heart, don't know how to laugh either. That's maybe true. That may be true. Gold of my, oh, that's gold of my air. Oh. Who said that? Yeah. That's probably pretty true. Okay. And we move on to your cause. This is, and this is the kind that we don't know who it's from. Educational testing services, from somebody in the educational testing services. Oh, Israel Salon? Oh, again, yeah. There we go, $24, thank you very much. Did I pronounce that right, Israel? I think so. Israel Salon? Okay, well, I said it again. Next one is from Joel, uh, Joel Lynn Livingston. Try that again. J O E L Y N. Joellen. Is that how you do that? I think so. Joellen. Or maybe oh. Joellen. Joellen has one word. Yeah. At any rate, Livingston, I'll do that one. <laughs> West, Westford Mass. Looking for a calendar, according to the according to the envelope. So you ought to be able to do that. And it says calendar and got the address on it. So there you go, you got it. The wall calendar. You got that one right. There it goes. And we have commits. Commits from Prescott, Arizona. I think that's is that for Oh Annie? for also Manny. It does say for also Manny. Where are we keeping the Annie? Uh, I'll get something to hang. Oh, why isn't the door open? I have no idea. It must have just popped open. Okay. okay. Find something. Have we got all the dogs we're supposed to have? One, two. Yeah. Where's she at? On the chair in here. Huh? In, in the chair? Yes. Okay. Of her requirement. Of her requirement. 
I wanted to get the recliner out of there, you know that. I couldn't do that because of chaos. This is the any bag? Yeah. Okay, that's the any bag. Wait a minute, another any bag. This is that kind of ink you had trouble reading. From Sharon. Con uh, Conestoga, Pennsylvania. Oh, oh it's one of these kind of cards. Wow. These are very funny cards. Wow. Look at that. Huh. When all the world is kinder, a little more beautiful than before. Look at that. Will you just look at that? I know, there's like, look at all the layers. I know, there's many layers. Two, yeah. Two, four, six layers. Yeah. I think it's a square. Hold it over the... That's interesting. Sharon and Lloyd Pope. So like Carlene and all the layers. staff, I'm typing this instead of writing because I can't even read my own... <laughs> 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 my own handwriting. I so enjoy watching you every day and watching all the puppies grow up. I have been but a loyal watcher now for over five years. I am also a tester, observer, for Alliance of Therapy Dogs. I have been doing this for just over 20 years now. Makes my heart happy when I hear that you take your dogs to nursing homes. I know the joy they must bring. I would like four chicken bricks and the rest of the money for the fun fund. Well, that's okay. We got four chicken bricks going in there. And then what's it got a card <coughs> with Merry Christmas <coughs> from Gizmo. Gizmo looks like a Wanda type. Oh, yes. Yeah. Show our Wanda. Thank you, Bricks, for the fun fun. We just had an expense on the fun fun today. Not necessarily needed, but it was going to help everybody. <coughs> we put a fence all the way around the pond so that we don't have to worry about the ice the thin ice bit, dogs going through the ice. So we now can leave the gates open and the plan is to be able to take dogs around the pond, running them, so we get some exercise in them before they go out training. That's the plan. That's but my plan, <laughs> my plan is to be able to go around the pond and through that other gate and then around the A field. And we have to check all the gates down here to make sure that we are. I'm not sure we have that all organized correctly yet. So that's the next project. Organize that. Okay. What did that say? Oh. Nothing. Or current resident. <laughs> I, I opened it by mistake. I should have given it the current resident. Which would be the Which you are. garbage bag. <laughs> Which is in there. Okay. Get rid of that one. Okay. No boxes? No boxes. There were no boxes. No boxes. Really? I just walked walked up from there. Okay. Questions? How are you doing with your smoking? Great. Wonderful. No smoking since October 27th. I see, but who's counting, right? But yeah, I really haven't been. <laughs> I have told hadn't been counting. Oh, I totally minute. forgot about it. Oh, here's something for you. Oh, really? I didn't notice that. Somebody put something on top of it. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, I haven't been. You've even forgotten about it now, right? I have, yeah. Well, we didn't forget about it because I tried to light a fire the other day and there was nobody around with a match. Oh, but you have my lighter up here. I know. I well, you. we do now. We didn't Where? then. Oh, I left you a lighter. I, well, it was. we had trouble. Right. We had a lot of trouble. Oh, okay. There was a couple of lighters. Well, that's weird. And, I had uh, left one before. Well, you know how things go around here. Some guys wander around. Oh. Huh. Okay. 
Okay. There's Lynn thanking us for the tree. That oh, for the tree did. thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, let me see those. It said, uh, Hi, Pam. I wanted to personally thank you and the Service Dog Project staff and volunteers for donating the tree at the 2018 Sea Festival of Trees. Your tree looked terrific. If you are willing, I'd love to have you participate in 2019. The picture enclosed does not do it justice, however. It is something to remember it by. Huh. The kids who won the tree loved looking through the calendars. Thank you again, Lynn. George, who is um, huh. Merlot, Gabby, and Watson's human. I never heard of this Festival of Trees, but it certainly was interesting. You basically, they had a whole bunch of people do a tree. They gave you the tree, naked tree? We donated it. We donated but where everything. Did you, where did you get the tree? It was donated uh, to the us. Gre the green part? It was donated to us. Really? Yes. From who? From a volunteer, that Donna Kimball. Oh, okay. She so had they did one. not donate the tree to you is what no. I'm trying to establish. Okay, so, so we got the tree from somebody, and then you guys filled it up. It really looks lovely. Yep. Oh, yep, that's ours. That's it ours. does look lovely. Huh. Yeah, Annie and I did that. Wow. Well, that's, very, that's, a, that's a very interesting concept. Okay, so uh, everybody comes in, they charge people to come in to see these trees? I honestly didn't know the whole setup, to oh. be honest. I, uh, and then somebody got our tree? They'd make a bid on it. Huh, okay. Yeah. So we basically helped them. Salisbury Beach Wharf stay open, keep it clean. Whatever. It goes to their... It goes in their pot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. ideal, I mean, it, for us it was more... Publicity. Exactly. Okay. But but it was fun. There were at least, I don't even know, 100 trees maybe? 80 yeah. trees at least it there? a big house, yeah. Because there were two huge rooms wow. just filled with trees. Huh. And they give you a spot and you get a square, an X, that's like this big. And then you've got a, you have your tree and then someone else's tree is here. So you have this much room to work in with your tree. <laughs> so I ha I found Annie a chair, and Annie sat here, and I and she picked through the bags of all the donations, and she categorized yeah. stuff for me so that I we could, and then she had the chair, and so she kind of made sure things were full. That was how we did that. You did a great job. Yeah. Great yeah, job. Okay. So that it's hard to see, but I hadn't heard of it either. It was all it was Lynn 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 who yeah. got us involved, so Okay. So, your so you're on your own. Questions. You Go for it. Okay. All right. Thirty seven. So this must be where the light Line is. Proud of you non-smoking. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really done anything, you know. I wake up every day and it's just another day without a cigarette. Did you or 10 or 12. After? My body would go <clears throat> and my head would go squirrel. Wow, squirrel. I mean, there's total disconnect between your brain and your body. Well, that's true for a lot of people that don't have to go to... <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. Good Former Lord. smoker. Yeah, that's 10 bucks and 10 bucks, uh, 10 bucks a pack. Wow. The mad Russian, yes, the, the pop, he helps everybody. It's food, nail biting. He said depression, anxiety, pain. Bring whatever you have that ails you to the... Do we need big lighters? I was going to go out and try and buy matches, but you can't buy matches anymore. Mm, yeah. It's a, it's, you know, I think there's some up, at, up there at Crosby's that I had, didn't get there today. But um, not only play sells matches. Yeah, it's $100 for a carton, right? 80 if you get a good bargain. I was just trying for the matches. I know. <laughs> you used to get matches for nothing. 
I did get my little my gift that a CP sent if it was from uh, Kathy and Grover, California. I got. Are those the little little thingies? Little red. Yeah, a little bag. pack with yeah. some candy and it had a little. Whatever. Uh, I don't know what was in it. It was just a little red thing. A little red thing. Yep. Little Santa Clauses. Little Santa Clauses. I did not. I won. I've been. I was hypnotized on October 27th. It's $85 for two hours. I tell everybody and their mother they need to go to this guy. He's 78 years old. He's not going to be around here forever. He's saved. He has to have helped millions of people by now. He's been well known in Massachusetts for decades. Huh. Decades. Um, Jody bought matches at the grocery store. They weren't at the grocery store I was at. I couldn't find them. Christmas tree fundraiser. That was for, yep. That was a fun time we had at the. We do have a cut. We did have a couple of fun videos. And Annie and I ate at the Sea Glass <laughs> restaurant. Okay. Okay. Joan got her calendar today, and it's awesome. Thank you. Uh, puppies are crashed. Oh, that's Debbie. Um, the crash after that was from earlier. Um, they went out to play for a little bit with Devin. Um, kitchen matches. They were outside? Yes. Oh, good. They did great. Please. Did they? They were so cute. Amazon sells all kinds of matches. Restaurants used to pass out. Yeah, they don't do that. You know, smoking is so bad that you can't even get the matches now. You can buy the long matches at supermarkets. Huh. Yeah. I have bunches of matches at my house. Well, I wish you'd bring them up next I time. I will bring some up. All I've got that lighter, and the minute that goes out of gas, right. then I'm on to the, the Bunsen burner over there, <laughs> which is true. That's right. how, that's how we <laughs> got it going Your torch night. thing over here, you're going to be that's using. That's right. You might as well use that thing anyway. At least you get some use out of it. <laughs> yeah, well, I've used it twice now to start the fireplace. Have I noticed the extra money from not smoking? Um, yeah. I'm, I Yes, I have noticed the money from not smoking. I probably spent about $50 a week on smoking. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't smoke um, a full pack a day. <coughs> probably about a half, half a carton. Yeah. Just putting it towards bills. Yes, Annie and I did like the sea glass. And then Annie, after we ate, Annie, was, <laughs> Annie wanted to take a nap. And I'm like, Annie, we have to get this tree done. We had like four hours to get the tree done. And I thought we were like behind, but then we were all finished and getting ready to leave. And you should have seen all these people running across the parking lot with all their decorations <laughs> in their hand at the last minute. So uh -huh. I guess we weren't quite as bad as I thought we were. Okay, anybody? I'm kind of floating around here because my calendar arrived yesterday in Dallas. Um, the Harl Pup in the February calendar pitch is ID'd as Oscar, but does not look at him. You know what? I wondered about that. Let me see. What's for dinner? The fish plates. Lots of different things. Of course. So let's look at the 2019. Oh, that's for the fish. You can't find something to eat out of what they sent today. You're very, they very, sent very a lot of stuff today. Did they? Yeah. Okay, so February. January. It says the February Harl is Oscar. Yeah. <clears throat> That's Harper. Actually, not Oscar. I think you're right. That's kind of a funny picture. It is one. A good one. How is Annie doing? Well, people are visiting. She smiles. Just, yeah, she's smiling. She's smiling, and that's a plus, which means she's coming back. It, um, Vanessa had a picture of her smiling. Oh, good. That's a good picture, too. Here's little... Uh, Gibson. Gibby Gibby Gibson falling down over. Okay, did we miss anybody's questions? Briah's on overnight. Um, I guess that's it. 
Did you have anything? Me? Important news for the day? No, I've spent a lot of time going over things like payroll. We have they I just saw the newspaper that January 1st we're supposed to redo this minimum wage business. And we have a lot of the kids around minimum wage and things like that. So that's that's what I was doing. Ah. That putting up the fence. I never worked so hard in a long time. Just look up the mad Russian because I can't pronounce his name. There you go. Fence and payroll. All right. Okay, we all done? Okay, and think so. Comets and cones are two by two in kennels. Do you know if a comet and a cone in every kennel or we, I have no idea. They're mixed boy and girl. They're mixed so. boy and girl, so you're going to get some that are from the same litter and possibly some no. that aren't. No, well, not, not about. Don't we have four and oh, four yeah, and one? You and four and one? So it would be two so separate the, two separate litters all yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah, because we have four boys, <laughs> one girl, four girls, one boy. Right. Yeah, so you're right. They would be all... Well, they could, they could manage a couple, but mostly it's just the other way. Yeah. Note that Fiona is a service dog and Chaos Pup, not the recipient. Oh, sorry. We made a mistake. Fiona is the service dog, not... We got a card today from somebody in Fiona. And Fiona, right. Not Elvis the service dog. Fiona the service dog. Fiona the service dog. I made the mistake. That was me. <laughs> it's tough to keep it straight. Is Debbie still there? Debbie's yes, she still is. there in the background here, yep. She's yep. Sorry Debbie's about tomorrow. that. Deb leaves tomorrow. They did, I think. Everybody? That's it. Alrighty then. All okay. right, thank you everybody. Have a good Bye. night. Bye.